There's actually, this is great. There's a story in Politico, politico politico.com at this moment is on their front page where they're saying, you know, this may not be all that for Biden. He and his team are counting on the economy to help deliver him 2024. And I'm like, wait a second, am I reading this right? Am I reading this right? Biden thinks the economy is going to win it for him in 2024. I mean, wow. (laughs) You know, Bidenomics. So Bidenomics with the, you know, $25 hamburger in one part of Connecticut over at McDonald's. Kid you not. There's some like value meal apparently in some Tony town there. New York Post did a story on it. And then other towns like New York City, I guess it's like 16 bucks for that value meal at McDonald's. I'm like, anytime somebody tries to tell you Bidenomics is working, you remind them that it costs 16 bucks for a McDonald's. Donald's value meal in New York City. Hey, Bidenomics is not working, okay? Plain and simple. There was a read on inflation today, came in, the consumer price index up 3.2% over last year, but everybody's like, woo, you know what? It didn't go up from last month because that's how desperate we are. The Fed has an inflation problem. At some point, I think they're going to have to move on rates, but they've chosen not to. So, you know, the market loves that. And it's game on. It's game on, game on, game on, even though they're looking for 1.5 to 2%. I mean, people are just like, whew, at least it didn't go up. At least it didn't go up, except that, you know, cumulatively, we're still up, what, 16% since Joe Biden came to office. Thank you very much, which is why I'm telling you, the economy should not be the issue that he runs on. And already you're starting to see some economists warn of that. Mark Zandi over at Moody's, I've known Mark for many years. He tends to lean left. And he's out saying, look, you know, you can't count on this. He's predicting just a 51% chance that Biden's going to win. There's another economist, a uh, well-known Ray Fair, I believe, who's come out saying, you know, don't bet on it. Listen, you can't bet on it. I'm going to be the realist here. You know what? I got no allegiance to anyone. The economy is not going to be your ticket, Joe Biden, come 2024. In fact, I, I'd start looking hard at other things. I mean, maybe, maybe you go back to the climate well, buddy. Today, I'm proud to announce <laughs> that my administration just released the fifth climate assessment on our nation's history. Didn't because just- I'll tell you, when you're so busy with your fifth climate assessment, while, while there's war going on, and you're not willing to go to the Washington Mall at a historic moment like this, well, I'm telling you, so it's game you over. An extraordinary crowd, and it was... Organizing just a few days is amazing, amazing. There, there are a few issues in Washington that could so... There are a few issues in Washington, Mike Johnson says. Yep, you know, there are a few issues that we can all agree on. And pretty much everybody is in line except for, oh, I don't know, the extremists. And Joe Biden is so worried about those extremists that he can't show up at a rally for Israel. That is pretty tragic.